going on guys so in this video i want to show you another free manual lead source that you guys can be incorporating and using on a daily basis and that is zillow so what i typically would do is go through craigslist first once you pulled out all the craigslist leads for that day then you can come into zillow right and then you can go through zillow okay so this is the process you'll go through right so in this scenario this client their market is east arkansas so i'm going to come into zillow and now i'm going to look up Arkansas State, if I can spell it, just Arkansas as a whole. Okay, so now we have Arkansas as a state. So now knowing that I am in East Arkansas, what I'm gonna do is click remove boundary, and then I'm gonna come in and draw. Okay, so then what I'm going to draw is my section of the state. Starting in the middle of the state, I'm coming straight down, slicing in the middle. I'm following the border as well as I can just to stay within my area here, okay? Then I'm gonna click apply. I know right now we're in the for rent section. There's a lot more leads under for sale. So we'll start with this one first. So under the for sale section, you'll want to click this drop down, and then you'll want to unclick any of the sections that are not by agent or, sorry, by agent or by owner. Those are the only leads that we want to be working with right now. Once you click done, you'll done, then come and click menu, uh, this drop down, and you'll just wanna make sure you're only selected manufactured homes, okay? And now what you're gonna do is you have over 149 results of leads in here that are manufactured homes for sale. And I would click this drop down and just come in and click newest, so that every time you are in here, you have leads that are just newest, whether they've been added today, or whenever that was, and you can just slowly go through be one of the first ones to speak to the seller, okay? One thing that you will see is there are homes that are significantly more expensive than others. What I've found is the majority of the time that is the case is when a seller owns the land and the home, right? So the seller is on a separate tax parcel, they're not within a park, and they actually own the home that they're in. Uh, the other option here is you can see this home is significantly cheaper. They are in a mobile home park. So I'm going to come in here. I want to call this lead. This is the progression I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna pull this up here. I can see some photos of the, of the home, but I don't really care about the home. I care about the park. Next thing I like to do is I like to copy the address and I like to look up the address. I want to know what type of seller I'm speaking with. Okay, I can see this seller actually owns a park. That gets me excited now. And I can see that there is a, if you scroll down here on the left-hand side of Google, you'll see that there is a at this location feature to see if there's a business or something that pulls up with this location. This is Leisure Hills North. So there's a phone number, there's an address, there's no website. So that gives me a good indication that, okay, this seller owns all of these homes, but they don't have a website. Hmm, okay, that might mean a little bit more of a mom pa owner. So next thing is I'm gonna start with Zillow here so there is going to be two phone numbers that you can call when you're in Zillow and you scroll down you can read a little bit about the home and then you can see the listing agent Taylor or sorry Tony Taylor so if you scroll down you can find more information on the property on the taxes on sales history and such but then further down is where you'll get the phone number for the agent okay and sometimes this is a seller sometimes it's an agent so the phone number is right here I would call up Tony and use the script. Hey Tony, my name is Dylan. Sorry this call is a bit out of the blue. I had seen your listing up here on Zillow about the mobile home you have off of Newbin Ridge in Arkansas. Hey, I'm actually not interested in buying the home itself. I'm an investor and I, my team a few, owns a few parks in the area. We were looking to buy another one. Just was wondering um, if you know if the seller had ever thought about selling or if they'd be open to receiving an offer, right? That's how you would open up that phone call, okay? If Tony doesn't answer, I'm gonna send Tony a text, pretty much saying, hey Tony, you know, my name's Dylan, I was reaching out about your listing on Newbin Ridge, uh, the mobile home, okay? Please call me ASAP, and then click send. Next thing I'm gonna do is I found that there is a location at this address here, so I'm going to then call this phone number here, which hopefully would take me either to the seller or to the park manager, okay, or property management. And so then I would use the exact same script as, hey, Mr. Seller, I'd actually seen your home that you had up for sale, uh, the 661 Newbin Ridge. 
you know, this is totally random, but I am not looking to buy the home. I'm actually looking to buy another park in the area, blah, blah, blah. You can take them through that script, okay? Within your lead organizer sheet, you can either come in here, right click, insert right, and make a column for another phone number, okay? Or within the notes section, you can make a note of what that second phone number is. And so the way that would look is if you went like this, insert column right, phone, and if you just did phone two, and then click here, and you'll be able to merge the cells. Now you have a second phone number column, okay? So you can also have that as an option. And now we're tracking all this information. And then you guys will be able to come through, organize the lead. If someone says, yes, they want to sell, you can go ahead and prepare an offer for them as you normally would. Now you can come through here and go to the next seller. And this is has a lot number and everything. It looks like it might not be within a park. It's a listing agent. So Teresa is the gal that I would call. I come up here and at least Google the address, see what I find. Um, it doesn't seem to match with anything. So instead of Google Maps, I'll just put it in Google itself. And same thing. What if I just deleted the first three numbers? Okay, that may or may not come up with an option. <clears throat> just to even see if it's within a park, right? So I'm seeing here that it doesn't look like it's within a park. That's okay. Um, still might be worth reaching out to the seller. And someone is either a seller, a buyer, an investor, or they know someone who is, right? So even though I can call Teresa and and give her the pitch, hey Teresa, I'm not looking to buy this home, I'm looking to buy a park. She might say, hey, this home is actually just on land, it's not a park. Okay, Teresa, that's totally fine. Hey, can you go ahead and save my phone number? I'm an investor um, and always looking to buy some parks here with my team. By chance, would you maybe know anybody else in the area who would be looking to sell their park or at least receive an offer? Right, put that hook, put that line in the water because if you don't have it in the water, you're never gonna get a bite, okay? So you'll be able to rinse and repeat, repeat this process here all the way through. Uh, this home's a little bit more expensive, so this might be on private land again, but I, it looks like I can see another home in the back. So this is just a higher quality park is what it looks like to me. So I can come through, I can copy this address before calling, just at least get my bearings of who I'm gonna be calling with. Um, well, that's great. Doesn't come up with an address. so. That's okay. I'm still gonna come down here and, all right, so this is in a 55 plus area. That's okay, we can buy 55 plus parks. Talicia is the gal that you can call. Scroll down and you can call her phone number. Guys, just as you are always doing, you want to ensure that you are saving this information within your prospect organizer. So you would just take this link here, copy, and then you would put this into your lead organizer here okay but just as I said you'll click right click insert link Zillow link then you can paste it so now it's an embedded link there you'll take this gal's name you can copy it and come in click paste okay we got her phone number copy and we'll just be filling out this lead as we normally would did I call her? Yes. So I left her a voicemail. Did I send her a text? Yes, I did. Okay, great. Last contact date. And you'd fill this out as any other lead. All right. And you'd come through and repeat this process. So that's for for sale. Now we're going to come in and look at for rents. For rents a little bit different because there's no option to actually select the home type for manufactured. All you can select is just house. So the way that we do that is just come in, select house, and you can sort by newest or you can sort by price low to high, okay? As you can see here, there's actually a mobile home that's up for rent uh, right out the gate, which is great. And this is an individual that you can reach out to, go through the same process, you can look up the address. When you're done with that, you can come down and then call the agent here, Dale Kelsey, and the phone number's right there, okay? Um, it's hard to find a lot a, of mobile homes on the for rent section, but you still can come through each day, scroll through, see if there's any new ones that are coming on, coming to the next page, 
you'll find a lot of houses that's okay uh, here's another manufactured home right but it's still worth your guys time when doing this another option is you can come in payments is you can do low to high in a lot of the states that we're investing some of the single-family home uh, rental prices are just as low as mobile homes so it, it is hard to sometimes find that to where you can actually just be viewing mobile homes right but I'm gonna scroll through here these are a lot of houses all right there's one mobile home here so it's worth re reaching out to one thing I noticed is Lindsay and Associates this is the same individual who had another mobile home so as you guys know with every individual that you speak to you always 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 want to ask that follow-up question hey Marcelo you know aside from this park that you have here is there anybody else that you know who may be looking to receive an offer on their property or hey Mr. seller aside from this park here do you have any other properties that you'd be open to receiving an offer on okay and then of course you can at least open the door to some other parks see if we can work out some package deals okay so that's really it for Zillow here it's very simple very straightforward the biggest thing is organize each of those leads just as you would otherwise one thing that um, I would personally probably do is instead of just putting Zillow link, you could then at least paste the address. As you can see here, now the address is paste, but then it will link back to the Zillow link. All right, any notes, anything like that is great, but go ahead and incorporate this and you guys will be continuing having good conversations with sellers.